Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are on the 23rd of April 2024 and oh boy, we got a bunch of mods. I think something like individual mods and that. In total, things like 80 or 90 mods I think we've got today. But yeah, so as always, time taps will be down below because it's going to be a long one. So if you want to look at any individual mods you want to look at, then yep, yeah, use the time taps down below. But without any further ado, let's get on with our brand new mods for the day. Before we go into our brand new mods, there is an update to the Bison Pack by Doi's Vault. Now it is 160.74 megabytes to download. Oh yeah, change lock 1.2, what we're going to be looking at is first two notes. Added new model of the Harvester, the Z058 New Holland. And added a four rows corn header for the Z056 and Z058 Z058NH. Along with this, some minor visual fixes, new engines and header sounds, new front tire models, new top configurations for the Z056 and 58. Fixed missing lever animations for the Z042, 43, and 5043. And fixed AI helper for a free mirror header. But yes, yeah, so anyway, so we're looking at the Bison Z058 NH, 26 for console, and the corn header is 3 slots for console. So, first of all, you'll find the harvester under vehicles and harvesters. Go towards the end, so this is what we're looking at 51 grand, 120 horsepower, 200 liters of fuel, 12 meters of working speed or top speed, 3,500 liter capacity, so not the biggest of this pack. Anyway, so we go into our configuration. So, cover options for chopper, we've got chopper cover, chopper, chopper, chopper 2, and back to cover. Covers, we've got yes or no. So, it's just little covers on the bottom. The fine parts of the combine. Pipe cover, yes or no. So, uh, it's just a cover, little guide for the pipes. Again, depends on what you prefer in that. Perhaps I'll say more of a no cover in that with the pipe in that, depending on what trailer you're using. And yes, for the corn header, you find this under tools and corn headers. Go towards the end. So you yeah, have four rows cutter, five and a half grand, 3.1 meter working width, top working speed of four miles an hour. We two and a half tons, and you could do corn and sunflower. So hop into here. So yeah, we've got L1, R1. Ooh, so that opens the little covers there. I do like the sound. Let's just attach it here first of all, so... There we go. Yeah, I can actually see inside the hopper now. So yeah, this is going to be pretty down, so... Yeah, nice animation, nice level of detail. Yeah, let's get this board done very nicely. So there we go. So yeah, I'm just doing a little quick short review of this because we've got so many mods to look at today and it's going to be an Uber now, I'm not for sure, but... I want to try to get this but yeah, like going around, nice level of detail as always. So yeah, that is the new Bison Z058 NH and the corn header as part of the update to the Bison Pack by Dois Vault. Next, on to our actual new mods for today. First of all, we got the Metal Fence. This is by Moose Agar. 0 0.54 megabytes to download. Slot count is one. Cost 150 to place down initially. And yeah, some markers can be used for maps and that, for fields and whatever you wish and desire. So you'll find this under landscaping, sorry, decorations and fences. Go towards the end, and there we go. So yeah, one slot to place. So yeah, you could do sorts of nice little things, could do little joint connections. 
Well, yeah, apart from that, that is the Mega Fence by Moose Agar. Next. Now we've got something quite interesting. We've got the Vegetable Warehouse Pack. This is by Vanquish A1. 2.13 megabytes of download. Slot count for all of these are five slots, and essentially, these are separate buildings that you can store a variety of products. So, you've got potatoes and sugar beet, lime and manure, sugar cane and sugar cut, forage and silage, grapes and olives, grass and hay, carrots and parsnip, and lastly, the beetroot and shrew warehouse. Cost 40,000 to place initially. And it's going to be fighting under buildings, under silos. So yeah, five slots goes down to one. Holds 600,000 litres. And that is 600,000 litres of each field type. So, for example, grass and hay, you could do 600,000 litres each. And to tip in, just put it across one of these triggers. So, let's head over here a sec. I am hopping here on those sugar cane. So this is the sugar cane point here. And this is gonna gradually fill up sort of see. Starting to fill up. No lights for as far as I can gather, so but yeah, again I know it's not the best of insight, so yeah, I do have some bigger piles, so yeah, got a little bit of manure and light. And to empty these, you need to go around to the back and empty them. And again, you can use these to store your vehicles if you want to do such a thing. Ooh, weird glitchiness with the map. I guess that's something to do with the sheds there, but we'll cut those later on. So, yeah, go to here. So, yeah, just empty, fill with lime. They don't have to be right under the pipe, as you can see here. And I'll swap over. Fill that with manure. See how it's coming out of here. You can't really see it going up the pipe or anything, but still regardless, a nice little bit of the detailing. I like the, the weapon work as well, like that is very nice. Uh, yeah, also it's got little icons and that on the side, so you know which one is which. So yeah, that is the Vegetable Warehouse Pack by Vanquish81. Next, we've got the Sheep Barn. This is by Broody TV. 5.12 megabytes to download. Slot count is 19 slots, goes down to 1. Yeah, cost 585 grand to place, can hold up to 450 sheep. Daily maintenance of 50 bucks, dollars or pounds a day. Automatic water supplies, feed capacity is 150,000 litres. I also get a monthly income, it says 1,200 a month. I'm guessing that's on like, I'm guessing normal economy. Because yeah, on easy it was like a lot harder than that, so... It goes to the sheeps. Nope, still saying 2,400, so... Not too sure on that, but yeah, 2400 a month, that's from the solar panels. So yeah, you got your gates here, so you can close uh, these gates like so. But, you can also close the actual main sliding doors. Got a door here. And again, do that. Close that. Ah oh, yeah, your feeding trigger is here. Your dialog box is on the other side. So yeah, 450 sheep we've got. And yeah, I think, yeah, set this up about a month ago, and yeah, 10,000 litres or so a month, give or take. Your wall does spawn here. However, I'm not sure what it is. It says, yep, yeah, wall isn't accepted here. Like, I've never seen that with a wool, uh, you know, with a sheep pen with a wool gnat. However, if you just drop it down, it will clear away in a sec. Like so. So yeah, my little thing there. Not sure what it is. Maybe something to do with the files. Again, I don't know for sure. I'm not a modder or that, so 
But yeah, also got your sound doors here. Front and rear. Oops. Trying to get himself cut in half here. Shut that up. Yeah, do love the truss working at. Do love the whip working at. Again, good level of detailing. Even though things like the war points over here and that. Generators and that. Also, in sort of in the middle, you've got your light switch toggle on and off. So yeah. Go into build mode, so yeah. Under animals and sheep. 580 grand place. You do have colour pad options. Was that 20 or 21? Different colour pad options. You can go for nice purple if you want to. So yeah, that is the Sheep Barn by Broody TV. Next, we've got the old barn. This is by VN 11.0. 30.19 megabytes to download. Quite high on the slot count side of things. 40 slots for consoles. However, I think it's worth it because just the level of detailing. Like, especially like with the brick working out. Like, as people know, so they've seen my, my mod reviews before. You know I'm a sucker for brick and mortar buildings. Ah oh, yeah, just that rustic creak in that. So your light switch is over here. Yeah, it says open gate, but yeah, I'm not sure why that is. I think I think it's something to do with how like close these trigger points is, because yeah, be following Superfly what was it 1842 now? Who bought out some awesome mods recently? As I go through some of his videos now, like why well, you can't have two trigger points in the same area in that. But again, like these are different trigger points. I'm not in the same spot, so perhaps it's just a naming thing. I think it is with the trigger points. But yeah, regardless. Again, yeah, <laughs> love the detailing. The weathering effect. So yeah, you'll find this under build mode. So yeah, under buildings and sheds. So yeah, 63 grand to place. Voice slots goes down to two. No colour options. But you do have a fine control of placement. And yeah, for some reason, like, regardless of whether or not I have build modes, or free boot on or snapping on and off. Yeah, that's snapping at the moment. That's free placing. But I'm like I'm meant to tap L1 to get anywhere, so Yeah, not sure on that. But yeah, also the year, nineteen seventy six, so if you're running a seventies farm, eighties farm all that or an an old grandpa farm get that. Open you. Then yeah, be a good little bit of kit. Inresistible, yeah, got a couple of items you can lift and move about. Got your oil can, hammers. Yes! Go bash, boom! Come on, not the bucket over. There we go. Bucket's knocked over. I'm happy now, so yeah. Close that up. So yep, yeah, that is the old barn by VN 11.0. Next, we've got something a little bit different. This is the Loft Style Summer House. This is by ICAS. 5.03 megabytes to download. Slot count is 15 slots. I think it goes down to 1. But yeah, it's a little loft. So you've got your sleep trigger over here. No wardrobe function, even though no one really uses the wardrobe function, to be honest. Yeah, nice little animations with the doors and that. Yeah, light switch is a bit finicky, but... Once you get it, it's not too bad. But yeah, if you just want to live a tiny little humble the boat. Not too shabby. Like, that image there, that is... Actually... Very nice, sort of. I don't know what it is. It's not an optical illusion, but it just looks. Look at it this way, and then look at it that way. I guess it's just a colouring thing. It's like how the colours 
I mean, you put your eyes and that, in terms of your visuals and that, and the angles and that, just looks completely different. Does it to you? I don't know. It does to me. But yeah, anyway, so you'll find this under build mode. So buildings and farmhouses, 25 grand to place. Do have a variety of colors to place. So again, a nice hot pink for those who love those kind of things. So yeah, it goes down to one slot. So yeah. That is the Loft Soil Summer House by Icas. Next, we've got the Swedish Machinery Hall. This is by L1 MP3N. 2.45 megabytes to download. Slot count is only four. Not too bad. But yeah, only four slots, but I do like. Well, that's the thing, yeah, I know we have like many Swedish, Swedish mods and that, but. Yeah, overall, not sure. I am a fan of this. Like, it's massive, really. Yeah, twenty-five grand to place. The upkeep of fifty. So you'll find this under build mode, on your buildings and sheds. And yeah, somewhere amongst all of this, we'll look at those later on. There we go. Right at the end. No color changes or options like. So, but yeah, like again, like the way I'm working at, do love that. Nice roll animation. Yep, lights on and off. Pretty big dialer box or trigger box and that for the light switches, so not too bad. But yeah, anyways, that is the Swedish Machinery Hall by L1MP3N. Next. We've got the Implement Sheds Pack. This is by Lexi AGLAC. 10.26 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9 for all three of these. And yep, essentially these are 8, 10, and 12 bay sheds and that. So ranges from 48 feet, 61 feet, and up to, sorry, 48 meters, 61 meters, and 73 meters, not 73 feet, 240 feet for the most, but anyway, so you find this under build mode first of all, so once again, under sheds, so yeah, 65, 9, 79, and 75, 9, do you have some color options, that will change the back wall and that, but yeah, 9 goes down to 1, and yeah, these are some long sheds now, some little here and that. But yeah, besides from that, no lights or anything like that. But regardless, do love the level of detail. Again, lovely word work in that as always. Let me just go to the back and just look at the other side because of how I got these all together. Yeah, not too bad. Nice little bit of gutter in that. But anyways, that is the Implement Shed Packs by Lexi AGLAC. Next, we've got the Old Village Building Pack. This is by Bernisk. 48.91 megabytes to download. Slot counts are 11 slots for the church. And for the three villages, they are 20 slots each. So yeah, this is purely a decorative item. So most likely something you'll see on the map comes soon near you. As part of a required mod, but regardless, so you'll find it is under build modes, under decorations, and others. So, yeah, 15 grand each for the village houses, so they do go down to one slot count afterwards. Got your church, like so. Can't change anything at all, of course. But, yeah, overall, nice little bit of detail in. Must be rusting that weathering on the woods. Got your aerials, 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 chimneys. And yeah, they get us over to the church. Yeah, of course, you can't always get anything, open anything. Man, I'm losing my words <laughs> today. Oh, yes, it took two hours to all set up and test, especially with the Rumber Van, which we'll discuss later on. 
But yeah, nice, again, the level of detail in some of these mods we have lately are top notch. Can't be said for all that, but anyways, this is the old vintage building pack by Bernisk. Nice little bit of mod here. Yeah, definitely it's going to be a place for now as required mod than that on a future map, I am sure. But anyways, yeah, old vintage building pack by Bernisk. Next. Now, we've got something absolute awesome. This is the Hall Configurator Wood by Farmer 5 Tom. 17.21 megabytes to download. And uh, yep, yeah, first of all, the modder does recommend test this, put, yeah, test this mod on test map. So, if you're thinking of creating a shed in that for your farming at, he highly does recommend, and so do I, as you'll see by my creation of this whilst quickly setting this up later on. Well, not later in a minute. But yeah, so, yeah, essentially, yeah, these are just whole buildings and that. But it's extremely configurable, like literally, you can make this into any way, shape or form if you wish. And knowing that, there is a workshop, bell storage, pallet storage, yeah, got your modular types of open side, closed wall, wall with windows, wall with gates, you got your gable sides, got your roofs and side walls. But yeah, I think there's like 50 items with this mod alone. Or 25 or 50, I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, so under build mode, so I'm going to look at the main ones in sec. So first of all, go to your tool. So you've got your workshop trigger here. That is 15 slots, goes down to 1. Forgot to place that down, but I got that down in my notes somehow. But then after that, we go to your silos. Go towards the ends. Or no, it's actually under your buildings and sheds and that for your pallet and straw storage. So yeah, your straw storage is your bell, so that holds 250. And so does your pallet storage, and yeah, they're not the same now. They can't be used as equals, as they are separate. But yeah, so first of all, you see here, we've got four flattened. So yeah, it's so recommended when you're placing this down, so, for example, so you want to set your shed up here, so, yeah, I want to set my shed up here. Place that down. What that does, it flattens the land out, so, it is, again, as I said here, designed to be sold afterwards, so, rather than have to mess around with landscaping that manually, this is a way to flatten your land very quickly. And yeah, you get your money back for it, so yeah, it costs 50, but you get your 50 back. So yeah, once you get this all set up, yeah, let's create your own shed. So, first of all, we got your roof, so yeah, we'll go for everyone, but it will make sense, and yeah, just ignore this. Like, this is me doing a rough setup. Yeah, again. Not everything's perfectly aligned, and this should use the wrong pieces and that. But yeah, actually, once I've got my head figured around, so... You've got your high roof with an edge. It's got a high roof. Roof with an edge. It's got a normal plain roof. And then you've got your awning. So yeah, once you've got your actual things put down, so... Your back walls and that. All you have to do is, yeah, something like so. Make sure you have snapping on. But yeah, see where I haven't flattened this out properly. I'm getting that gap. So yeah, make sure you everything is perfectly flat using the flattener. So yeah, actually, you know what? Let's create our own shed here as we go along. So yeah, we'll recover those. Next, you got your gable ends with a wood side in. Oh, yeah, slot counts as well. As I almost forgot, I got a huge notes for this. So, yeah, the roofs and awnings they are two slots. The flattenings are one slot each. Pat storage, one slot. Straw storage, so your bell storage is two slots. 
and you get these ones here like your windows gable ends and your door gable ends they are three slots each got your normal gable ends and yet you do have like 20 or so color options these are two slots so you've got a couple of options here then you've got your side windows here and that with, but yeah with the wood side so that is three slots then you got your open side walls and that but yeah most of these are three and two slots and then afterward it goes down to like four two three two four two two four two four that's what I've got in my notes for like these little doors here so again if you want big doors you can have big doors if you just want a little big door then yep yeah, you know what crack on so your big doors and that again different options you can have just a open shed if you want so if you do like your pad storage and that perhaps this is more something you'll go for so actually as quickly I know I said about small of you being too long but yeah so since we know this area here is flattened I just want to go with something like this so I'm not going to mess with colors or anything like that then next I'm going to need a side piece so I need something a bit bigger so but yeah even again so you can have these as like a drive through ball so you can have your like your roofs up so let's just do that instead actually you know what I actually like this one here so again yep yeah, didn't perfectly align everything up so I think yeah, I got some clipping around here somewhere but yeah you see like the idea of it so have something like that so where's that to over here so yeah in a way sort of a bit of a counter lever roof in that but yeah you get super creative with this again again like the file size was it again look at my note 70.21 megabytes to download really this is arguably going to be the top mods of the day like this is going to be one of the top mods of the day for sure like it is so useful and versatile you can get absolutely creative colouring in that so yeah so that you imagine it should go wild hat Sorry, I got sidetracked side there. So, yeah, again, it is so creative and versatile, this mod is. So, this is the Hawk Configurator Wood by Farmer 5 Tom. Next, we've got the Millennial Farmer Shifts Pack. This is by the Subi and Bloody Farmer. Map, the mod is powered by Mapper's Paradise. 31.74 megabytes to download. Slot counts are. Seven slots for the vehicle and the toy shed. The workshop over here is 46 slots and yeah, I've been waiting this for a while. I'd love to see the Millennium Farmers map return to FS22 and that from Mapper's Paradise, despite all the issues with it in FS19, despite the community toxicity back then, like again all the hate in that pack that they remember. It was absolutely awful in that, but anyways, we got the sheds here at least for the time being. So yeah, this is your toy shed, so as probably stated, this is where you put like your cars and that and everything else like that. Yep, yeah, rolling doors and that, absolutely lovely. Got your light switch over here, open this door here. Yeah, lights on, lights off, so that is that side. And the other side is nope, not here. Ah yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's like literally right next to that's why I was like having issues with triggering in that. So yeah, got your all your lights here. Again, ignore how I've placed these down, like I yeah, I completely forgot about this pack and that, so yeah, things aren't perfectly aligned up. But yeah, that's your toy shed here. Then you got your main vehicle shed here. Turn your light on here, that turns on all of the lights. Again, open the doors and that. 
So yeah, use this house drive through wall bit if you wish. Ah uh, yeah, this does bring me some good memories from FS19. Then obviously if you're like following the farmer now on YouTube and that, you know this is like it's very iconic tool machine shop, so yeah, got your workshop here. Again, another big door here. Got a little door to the little cubby cupboard here. And up here, you have your office in that. And a little bedroom over here, so. But yeah, like, this is so detailed, so. Yeah, lights on, there we go. Oops. Yeah, figure my way out. Alright, it's actually a walkthrough ball, didn't realise that. Again, a little bit of items, not not this ball. But yeah, so let's actually put these lights on, which are just over here, so... Once again, got your two light switches. And there we go, you can actually see a lot better, so... Nope, light switching over here. So you got your light switch, yeah, lights for over here. Where is this one to? Ah, there we go, right here around the corner and that. But yeah, also again, you think, yeah, you've done that. But yep, yeah, got your office here, got your free monster setup here, FS19, lovely jubbly. Ooh, what's coin piece is that? Not sure, but yeah, printer and that. But yeah, for getting like the stock counts for the machine hall and that, does make sense. Even when you ignore how I've placed these down, like... Actually, let me just get rid of that sex, so... Get rid of you. But yeah, like, this is such detailed workshop in that. But yeah, it's based on real life, and that's based on the Millennium Farmer and that, who has a YouTube channel and that. So yeah, that is the Millennium Farmer Shed Pack by the Subi and Bloody Farmer. Next, we've got the Hey Drawing Plant M by DS Power, 5.6 megabytes to download, and yeah, essentially this is a Hey Drawing Plant. But as you can see here, we've got different recipes, so let's go over here to the spanner. So, yeah, dry hay, 120,000 euros a month you can get, so all required grass. The only difference is fuel in that, so you can use wood chips. Straw or diesel to power. All the capacities here are 100,000 euros along with the output. So, yeah, we went through this quite quickly after setting this up. But yeah, you're looking at recipes now 100,000, sorry, 100,000, 1,000 euros of grass to 45 wood chips to 90 straw and to just 15 euros of diesel. So, Yep, all these are really inexpensive that. Straw and diesel are the easiest to get. If anything, actually, diesel's the easiest to get in that. But yes, yeah, so let's go into a build mode. So under productions, under factories. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, 25 grand. Not too bad for a little hay dryer in that. But yeah, I actually do love this, and yeah, something I am tempted to use on a Let's Play series coming up, but anyways, that is the Hay Drying Plant M by DS Power. Next. Moving on to our vehicles and equipment, we've got the Lizard PT75. This is by Hydraulic, 3.21 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially all this is a little small platform trailer, so yeah, I've got some bells over here, so yeah, use these bells, whack them down like so, just be careful not to overload them, so if you're actually using normal bells and that, yeah, I think you probably get away with it still, obviously I'm not using this ones here I'm using, just because of how I've got it all set up. But yeah, strap this down on that, not too bad. Yep, yeah, hook up to a pickup in that if you want, via a ball hitch. So yeah, you'll find this under tools and miscellaneous. So yeah, a bit of a different one to find. So somewhere over here, 
Yeah, only just 890 to buy. Room colours, got chrome, white, silver, grey and black. Weigh 712 kilograms. So let's hop into our little pick up here and let's go hook up here. It's the only three straps you have. It is a single axle as well, so just be a little bit wary of that. But you can definitely get that asset out of that. Like so. Whee! There we go. But yeah, so let's drop you down here. But yeah, a nice little bit of kit here. Again, if you're using this for small farming at, you know, a bit like survival challenge esque kind of things, then. Yeah, a little perfect mod for you. So this is the Lizard PT75 by Hydraulic. Next, we've got this. This is the Agrimat Pioneer KGC-1A. This is by Zimov. 3.93 megabytes of download. And yeah, this is a 0.7 meter work width. Potato harvester, but also not just potatoes. Can also do the new premium crop, so... Yeah, so first we'll look at this under tools and potato equipment. Go to near the end, so yeah, we could do sugar beets, carrots, parsnip, along with potatoes. 3 meters working width. Yeah, only horse 15 horsepower, so... Yeah, if you do like proper old school farming, this is the one for you, so... Yeah, you got your set in the spurs room, so you got one, two, three, and four, which is none. Make our options so all your old colours that changes the main body in that. Got your little PTO cover, so go brown, red, yellow, and then your design colour is gonna be your little flail here. So yeah, only 1200, not too bad, so I thought let's hook this up to the second smallest tractor. Because technically the small structure you can get the Porsche, I think it is, is only 40 dollars power. But yeah, so how this works is you need to make sure it's lowered. But before you start, you need to press L1, R1. Press unload here. Because otherwise your potatoes or root crops and that won't unload onto the ground, so go, harvesting our potatoes, dumping them onto the ground and then yeah, what we do next is just come buy a forage pickup or something for a loader, or there's plenty of mods and conveyor belts that you use to pick these up. But yeah, so if you say you stop unloading, so you just turn on Shromay, here's what happens, so you'll harvest your potatoes, You'll get rid of the top of the potatoes. But, yeah, nothing else is going to come out. So, let's go over here and select unload here. So, you've got a little bit of potatoes there, but of course, not all the potatoes you technically should have harvested. But still, nice little cracking mod here. So, turn you off. No other L1, R1 options, all that, so, yeah, just lift, and lower, and that is it. So yeah, that is the Agrimat Pioneer KGZ-1A by Zimov. Next, we've got the John Deere 500 green cart, this is by Hemson Dinitino ML Modding, sorry for pronounce that last bit wrong, 5.7 megabytes to download. Slot count is three goes down to one. And yeah, essentially this is a little versatile green cart that is commonly used in the US, so we'll hop into our John Deere here. But yeah, something like this you'll see very common around the US. So yeah, essentially this is just a auger wagon in all essence, a one axle. So yeah, you'll find this under Tools and auger wagons. Go to the end, 22 and a half grand. Set up your basic crop types along with seed and fertilizer. 
holds 15,000 litres, requires 110 horsepower. And you do have four different build setups. So you've got your more road tyres, and then more your chunkier agricultural tyres. So, yeah, personally, I love four in that. No colour options in that. But, yeah, nice little bit of detailing. Not too bad, not too shabby. So yeah, pipe in, pipe out, and all that. There we go. And then you have to simply say dump here. Discharge rate is decent enough. Not the best, but not the worst. But yeah, this is more for, again for like, small scale farming than that. Things like, as well, sea tenders and that, tending to your planters and that. But yeah, overall, I'm not too bad, I really do like this. Yeah, once you get a bit up to speed, you can get, again, get that ass slide out of here. There we go. Man, I was soon fine, I guess, because I was loaded up for the that. But yeah, they like, had this proper swing around. But yeah, again, it's just testing the versatility of this. And there we go. Yeah, very versatile indeed. So, let's stop you there. See, so yeah, that is the John Deere 500 Green Cart by Hemson Dentine Hole ML Modding. Next. On to something a little bit different, we've got the Trimmer Domico by Vulex. 3.25 megabytes to damn load. Uh, yeah, essentially these are vehicles, like, yeah, essentially it's classified as a vehicle and that, but these are your hand trimmers, so you've got a normal version and a no drop option, so yeah, if you want to cut your grass and that, but you don't want to drop, so you use that. Be a top speed of three miles an hour, so you'll find it's under vehicles and under mowers. So yeah, 250 regardless. Slight difference in weight by 10 kilograms, but again, nothing too much to say. 0 0.5 meter working width requires obviously diesel on that. Somehow, oh yeah, yeah, of course that makes sense. Yeah, I was thinking of the worker and that, like the person that, but no. Yeah, the actual thing itself needs diesel on that, so... Yeah, let's turn it on. It has that, like, chainsaw sound effect. Yeah, it sounds like the chainsaw's going, but also the mower at the same time. But yeah, we are just trimming our fields here. Getting rid of all those pesky weeds and that. And then, if we no strimmer option, there we go, turn you on. Like so. So yeah, you're cutting your grass. But not leaving a There we go, yeah, not leaving a swap. I was like say one leaving swap, no not. That was just an old swap, so yeah. Again, depends on what you prefer in that and what you want. But yeah, not too bad a bit of a kit. So there we go. Press square to exit the vehicle. Like so, and turn you off. There we go. So yeah, that is the Trimmer Domico by Vulex. Next. We've got the Supima Pals Advance. This is by Nico Pix, and essentially this is just a cultivator in that. But yeah, 10.1 megabytes to download. It says online, 36 meters working width. But anyway, so let's go and have a look at this. So you find this under tools, under cultivators. So there we go. So yeah, actually it's six meters not for six meters. So, but yeah, no configurations and that, no options. 150 horsepower required. And a working speed of nine miles an hour. So yeah, let's go and get you hooked up, like so. Oop. And yeah, she helps you to do it the proper way around, which is the front. 
Because yeah, it's designed to pair with another one that you can pick some mold we'll be looking at in a sec, the roller. There we go, so yeah. Unfold cultivator. Low set cultivator and yeah, to make sure it's still a 36 meter. There we go. There we go, let's crush those potatoes and sets. So yeah, it's 6 meters, not 36 meters, but uh, still regarded as a nice big kit. Love the animations as always. Yeah, especially by Nika Pigs now, they've been coming out with some cracking mods lately. But yeah, this is more designed to be paired with one of the rollers and that, but regardless, still see the use of it. But yeah, nice detail in that. Let's fold you up. Like so. Then we'll just up you over here. So yeah, that is the Supima Palsy Avant by Nico Pix. Next, we've got the Supima Cross Gillette, Cross Gillette, Gillette by Nico Pix as well. 12.28 megabytes downloads, and yeah, these are 5 and 6 meter rollers. Requires 120 horsepower, costs up to 40 grand. So yeah, let's look at this in more detail, so you find some other tools and rollers. So yeah, as you know, these are 6.4 meter ones, I was getting confused with another mod that, so 6.4 meters working with. So yeah, the difference is foldable and a trail foldable. Minor differences in weight, but it all does the same job at the end of the day. Yeah, again, no colour options or anything like that. But yeah, as I said, with the last mod, these two are meant to be paired together with the cultivator, so you create that seabed. But yeah, without said cultivators, have a little look here, so... There we go, just drop you here, like so. Okay, doing nothing there. Doing nothing here, but... I should get this paired up and this will work a lot better, so but yeah, you see us starting to have a little rolling effect. So once I get these two linked up, there we go, so let's get you unfolded. But yeah, this is what you have these two mods for now, and yeah, personally, if you're going to use one, I'll say use the other Nat. Or so I'll say more of the foldable one rather than the troll one. But as you can see, there is that texture difference, so between here and here, so that's gonna be your seat bed. That is technically in real life a lot better to use. But regardless, so this is the Supima Cross Elite by Nico Pix. Next. We've got the Convergent and Vicon iTrax T4. This is by JMZ. 49.15 megabytes of download. Slot count is 35 slots. So, yeah, essentially, this is a fertilizer spreader now or herbicide sprayer. So, yeah, you'll find this under Tools and Sprayers. Go towards the end. 66.5 grand. So yeah, you can go from 80 meters to 40 meters by increments of 21, 24, 28, 32, 36 meters. Wheel brands got Trailborg, Sanders, Narrows, Back Sanders. Missions gonna be pretty much the same. Brands, so you got your Convergent Itrax or your Viking Itrax, depending on what you prefer to go for. Also, since we're using precision farming, this does have the weed sports rain support, so good thing to note. So, yes, hop into our John Deere in a sec. Get you all hooked up, and then, yeah, get unfolded. And see how you do. So, there we go. Get you unfolded. 
Why got our crop selected in that? I didn't mean to unfold there. I was meant to change the nitrogen value here, so... So yeah, I won't say, yeah, do sugar cane. So yeah, now we are applying the correct amount of fertilizer for... Was it sugar cane or whatever it was we randomly selected with precision farming? But yeah, overall, not too bad. I like that, so... Again, we'll work on you. So yeah, that's doing the bees business. Yeah, like, love the detail on these and that. But yeah, not too much difference to base game that. Work speed 12 kilometers per hour. So yeah, really the only difference is that's new and that is the Viking brand. And the beam myth of 21 meters. But regardless, that is the Convergent and Viking Nitrax T4 by JMZ. Next, our final Supima mod of the day. Again, this is by Nika Pix. This is the Supima Leveler 2.53 MB download. And as in the name, it's a leveler, but you can only use this for tail handlers. Cost between 4,700 to 5,200, depending on what the length you go with. So, yeah, like so. So, yeah, essentially, this acts as a leveler, so. Just go along like so. And yeah, just level everything off. Lovely jumpy like so. And yeah, just go over here. Push this down. Of course, it's what, like 3 million or something I got here. Okay, only 1.6, but still, regardless. So, see how it works in that. So yeah, you'll find this under Tools and Levelers, go towards the end. Yeah, but again, overall not too bad weight-wise. And you've got different lengths than that, so you've got your 5 meters, 6 meters, 7 meters, and 8 meters. Colors got red and yellow, and that is it. But yeah, overall, nice bit of kit. He uses a little hammer in that, get a weight on the back of this, go smash. <laughs> There we go, smash! And yeah, we'll see how we go from here. But yeah, we may sub here. And that is the Supima Leveler by Nico Pix. Next, we've got the Madara Agro Tyrex. This is by Eid123. 25.33 megabytes of download. And yeah, these are 5 and 6 meter cultivators. So yeah, you'll find these under tools and cultivators. So you've got your Tyrex MPM525, 180 horsepower required, 5 meter work width. And then for the bigger one, the Tyrex MPM6300, 240 horsepower required, 6 meters work width, and both do 9 miles an hour. And yeah, weight wise are pretty much the same almost. 8.4 tons, so First of all, let's hop into our John Deere, and then we'll grab this. This is the 5 meter one. So yeah, unfolding that, and then there were... But yeah, also I forgot to show is you do have your colour options. So wheel brands, you've got Midas, BKT, Continental, Missions, Nokians, Trader Borg, Virtual Lines, and back to Midas. Main colour, you've got red, black, grey, or blue. Then your design colour, you got red, black, black 2, and grey. So that changes the little sickles and that. Your design colour changes to the rollers on the back, and your rim colour is obviously your rims, like so. Go for a nice red. And for a small one, it is all exactly the same. There we go, drop you down. And yeah, cultivating not too bad, of course, because yeah, we've got a stupid 800 horsepower tractor here. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Do you love like springs going up and down that? Like, there's a little bit of fine details I do 
really enjoy. Next, let's go and grab the six mirror bird myth one. There we go, that's already unfolded for us as well. Almost like it fires as if it's set up that way. But yeah, big base, drop you down. But yeah, slight more struggle initially, but once you get up and go, it's not too bad. Once again, lovely animations, not animation, lovely effects in that. But yeah, I absolutely do enjoy these, so it's going to fold you up. And then, yeah, that is the Madara Agro Tyrex by Eid123. Next. And yeah, I am going to do the mod review on this. This is the Lizard Rumble Flatbed by DD Mod Passion. And yeah, first of all, I'm going to say this out of the way. This review of this is going to be honest to as I'm seeing it now. However, why do we have this? Why? Because... Was it? Not only does the other Rumbler van by DD Mod Passion has many mod conflicts now with other mods and that, including not the one yesterday discovered between me and... Looney Farm guy, and I can't remember another guy's name who helped out with the Jack Toe Unifold and that, with the issues of Empty and Diesel. But also, there's the other Lizard Rumber van by Castan18, but it's been constantly getting reported and flagged and taken down. Again, I don't know the details of all this, but whether it's, I don't know, DD more passion complaining or something, I don't know, or it could be completely inconvenience, or unrelated, I meant not inconvenience, or completely unrelated. But yeah, like, with all the issues this mod, or these mods has been having lately, just, yeah, get a fix. Thankfully there's no bugs I've noticed with the Rumbler flatbed so far, but, yeah, so that's the mini rant out of the way, I just want to disclose that, but, now I'm going to be looking at the actual mod itself, for what I've seen it in front of me today. And I will give it a honest opinion of it. So anyways, 10.01 megabytes to download. Slot count is 5 slots for the truck and 3 slots for the bed. Do have various odd configurations. So yeah, first of all, let's go into your vehicles and your trucks. Go see it. Rumber flatbed, 48 grand. Initial weight 1.7 tons, 74 miles an hour top speed, 120 liters of fuel, and 300 horsepower. Once you're into your configurations, options for, or at least the viewing information for your horsepower is gone. So yeah, area breakers, no or yes. So just as a little antenna there. Engines, got diesel, gear shift, automatic. The electric charge, gear shift, automatic, diesel manual, and yeah, back to automatic. Wheel setups 26560 R18s, design 1, design 2, design 3, design 4, design 5. Next, got your 26565 R17s, design 1, 2. Then you've got your 245s. So yeah, two six fives there, two four fives. Oh yeah, we've already gone back to those, so I can ignore those. But yeah, tint the windows, no or yes. Yeah, see now I do like the tint on it. Like it's not too overdone that, but it's just right. And drive side you got left and right, so depending on where you're driving in the world. If you're driving on the correct side of the road. Or on the wrong side. Beacon's got no flashing, rotating, or none. Front weight got standard, half a ton, one ton, two tons, three tons, and back to standard. So, yeah, this will make clear with the flatbed options. Klaxon, no or yes. Personally, I'll say no because it's quite annoying. But down to interval, interval preferences. Next, you got your so these weird markings. So these goes from one to ten, and then A to Z. Yeah. Anyway, so 
capacities is, is your fuel. So you've got your standard, high, and very high. So you can go absolutely stupid with this. So yeah, very high. And then what you say you want to do is add the weight in that. 5.9 tons. That is absolutely massive. Then your colour options. Not too many to shout about. Just your basic colour palettes. Rim colours. Same as so. Of course if you're using a transit van. Or rumble van. Or run flatbed in this case. It's got to be white. But yeah next the bed. So you'll find this under tools add miscellaneous. So yeah, there we go. Initially cost two and a half thousand. Total capacity two thousand liters to was it not one thousand one million? What was that like one billion liters? So maximum fill type and yeah, it can hold pretty much everything. Goals and that from the map and that our soups and that can hold. And uh, yeah, he can hold methane and electric, so... But yeah, so in terms of attacher, so you got your goose egg attacher option or truck option. Just a three-point hitch, platform and three-point hitch, and your platform. So your platform here, so capacity is normal, a million litres, or was that 10 million, or was it, I don't know, 10 million, 100 million? Tennis belts, no or yes. You only get two at the front and back. But you still get the little hooks for the tennis straps regardless. Main colour, ooh, that's bright. Changes the actual platform of the bed. Then your design colour. Go with more of a red, so that's your sides. And then your design colour is the little side bits on the head. So let's go with a nice hot pink, just show that off. Like so. But yeah, so you got your platform and three point linkage also there. So yeah, so yeah again, depends on what you want, you just use this as a PTO NAT or attach a trader to it, but if you do use a trader, especially anything stupid over fifty thousand litres and it's base game stuff. I do recommend the front weights, 3 tons, and the large fuel tank, otherwise you can have so many issues, so... Pop into here, we've got the trailer, truck trailer option. But yeah, like, overall, to get up and go now, it's not too bad, like... Yeah, I am trying to remain impartial with this, again, with all the issues the Rumber Van has been having as a collective. This does hold well now, it'll pick up and go, not too shabby. The next we'll hop into our electric version. And that's even better to get up and go, pretty much. But yeah, why would you have a diesel van? Not a diesel van, an electric van. That just seems wrong. An <laughs> electric van. Oh, I don't know, but yeah, like, we've got a ton of products here. That is four million four hundred eighty three thousand and two hundred eight, so it's ten million capacity. But yeah, fin up takes forever. And empty in Uh yeah. Very slow now, like seriously, for like for something that holds ten million liters, again if you're gonna go unrealistic change the discharge speed on the XML file. So now if you're on PC that can be done extremely easy changing the discharge speed, but if you're designing something that holds 10 million liters, in a way I get in that, but oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean like generally on this, I don't know. At the end of the day, like, I, I see it from both sides I do. Like, you want something I'm not capacity, but I really sit discharging that. But, why would you have one but not the other? Sort of counters to the whole idea behind 
unrealistic stuff in that. But, you know what, I don't know. So anyways, this is the There's a Rumber Flatbed by DD More Passion. Still gonna cover it regardless of all the issues with it lately. Next. So this is the AGL series by Nassif Modded and AG3D. 37.68 megabytes to download. Slot count is 20 slots, goes down to 1. But yeah, essentially these are South American sod trucks. Extremely configurable in terms with colours. But besides from that, only my configurations, but still a cracking truck as I'm having the hiccup there. So, anyway, so yeah, AS or AGL series as 1114. Yep, yeah, only 24 and a half grand to buy. Then grand for the maximum engine that brings up to 260 horsepower. Got a varieties of grills. So you can have lizard logos or not, chains. But yeah, I think more of a classic would do for me. Antennas, yes or no, front left, right or both. Mirrors, got your primary or standard. So that's just the colours and that. The latches got plastic, chrome or plastic. So that is the door handles or door latches. Going down, we've got your fuel tank, plastic, primary colour, chrome or plastic. So that is the actual straps themselves. Decorative lanterns, you got no or yes for yellows. So that is at the back here, yellow, red, green, blue or none. Decorative lights, so that's going to be at the front. So that goes on to the windscreen there. Yellow, red, green, blue, or none. Then for design, got your decab. So that's this here. Premium. And then back to your decab. So a bit of extra space in there. A little room for a bed there. So to get a bit of kip. Stair lights. No orange, red, white, or none. Main color options. You do have quite a selectable of customized had it so got your green water got your lamic yellow so yeah that's more like say you're like your jack toe or jacko oranges and that navy blue again something like this you'll see extremely common color wise in south america so your fenders let's do that next that changes obviously your fenders rims go with black why not License plate, yes or no. So yeah, lights, like so. So yeah, in cab, so L1 and right stick. That adjusts the left mirror. And then R1 right stick adjusts the mirror onto the right. Just bring you in, like so. And actually, I do like the idea of... Yeah, I can actually see the reflections in that. Not too bad. But yeah, like, the get up and go on this is actually quite good indeed. Like, I do love this. That's not the best part of this mod. I think, yeah, the best part of this mod is this. Yeah, that horde. <laughs> oh, that's gonna get. I can, yeah, I can annoy someone so quickly with that. That little whistling sound. Oh god, that that's made my day. That has like today's been a bit of a shit day in that, but I'm tiring as well. Not set last night. Doing the mod reviews and that, but that. Oh, that's made my day for sure now. But anyways, that is the Lizard AGL series by NASA Modern and AJ3D. Next. Now we've got the Terragator 9205. This is by FA285634. 10.33 megabytes to download. And this is a challenging or challenger, technically, monster 
of a muck spreader with a unrealistic capacity. So yeah, lights, yes and no and all that. Nothing in terms with to be configured. Turn on that. Nothing really lights up in the cabinet. You can see the floor. Actually, no, that's by design that is, is it? Was it, yeah, was it like mirrors there, I think? Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Sure, yeah, yeah, I think, yes, I've seen something like that before, so... Yeah, I just used to not see something like that, like mirrors and that. But anyway, so... You'll find this under vehicles as crop protection. 175 grand initially, not too bad. Yeah, a bit of a funky camera angle in the store and that. But yeah, so you've got your standard and unreal capacity, so 45 or half a mil. Chassis colour, you've got your Chandra yellow. Even though technically we've already got a Chandra yellow. If I put everything else black. No, not that. Yeah, it's like... Minor difference? Yeah, I think that it... That's more brighter yellow yellow. That's more of a slightly orange if I, I've had to describe in that, golden-ish. But yeah, actually I do like that, I like the black out everything else. But anyway, so let's go into the field. So yeah, this is a 24 meter mug spreader. I think what well, horsepower was like 1,700. No, 1,570. Sorry. But yeah, not too bad. So yeah, then you're spraying your crops on the field, or well, not your crops, and that spreading in your net. Look at that steaming pile of manure coming out of the back. But yeah, that is definitely something. Also, the free wheel in the front. It makes it extremely adjustable in that terms with steering. Go around the world. But yeah, back on track and that. But yeah, something like that I absolutely love. Especially with the, the unreal capacity in that. There's actually a vehicle in that. Rather than like a trailer in that. This, I actually do love in that. Yeah, something I... Uh, we're not use it in the future, I don't know. But yeah, definitely a mod I recommend. So, this is the Terragator 9205 by... FA two eight five six three four next. We've got the Zater eighty one turbo or Zater LKT. This is by Wolfex Modding. Six point three two megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially this is a forestry tractor based by the LKT Shrek Company who produces a lot of forestry equipment in real life. So yeah. Essentially, he's like a forestry tractor, so... Yeah, for example, for us with this, it's things like... Working in the woodland, so... I don't know, it could be like what we're doing now, transporting logs, could be transporting or covering trailers, and that technically you can. If there's woods attached to it. But yeah, so, L1, right stick, up, and left to right, sorry. Raises and lowers the front hydraulic. There we go, like so. Or yeah, hydraulic blade. Now, so we're close to four. L1, R1, right stick. Does rear. So, essentially, what you can do is raise the tractor net. So, you have a nice solid base for things like recovering the trees and that on cliffs and that. Or, let's say, if you're on the cliff side on Silver Run or something. But yeah, so let's raise this back up. And then your L1. No, do that. Let's bring you in. 
There we go. A bit more. There we go. Raise you up. So then, yeah, just pull the tree away. And Bob's your uncle. There we go. One tree we've got here. But yeah, always do love some more forestry machinery, especially things like these now, like especially with the was it 50 meter winch and I think this has got but yeah so actually I'm not sure I'm going to show this and sort of like absolutely falling in love with this I do apologize so yeah under forestry machines yeah 45 grand slot count is 10 slots goes down to one yeah 15 tons it can pull so that massive tree we pulled I could do about five of those top speed 70 miles an hour 115 horsepower, so yeah, it may not be the fastest in that. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Got your usual tire manufacturers there. Decals, old, no, or brand new. So that's just these decals here, new. Got your older ones, and so. Orange stripes, so that's gonna be like these on the front. Got two, one, or none. So it just depends on what you want. Main colour, so you got yellow, yellow two, green, red and black. The main colour changes the top of the cabin all that. Design colour changes the actual body. Again, I can't really notice that yellow difference in that. I'm not sure what it is, but Second design colour changes the doors, ring colour changes of the, the rims. Licence plate, yes and no. But yeah, so I'm going to detach the tree. But yeah, what a crack a bit mod. This is the Zeta LKT 81 Turbo by Wolfex Modding. Next, Chrome Big Lift 3500. This is a Chrome Tay Hander. I don't think we've had a Chrome Tay Hander before. This is by Dashu Agar, 19.82 MB download, 18 slots for a console. So yeah, actually it does say in the mod description is a reskin version of the new Holland TH7.42. And to get to the Chrome Big Lift 3500 prototype. So yeah, you'll find this under Tay Anders. So yeah, that's the one obviously it's based off. But still, regardless, I'm not complaining. But yeah, just got your tyre options. Wide tyres and that. Yeah, nothing to shout him about. So you got your controls and that. Like so. Boom out. Got your steering's and that. So yeah, all it is just a simple reskin and that. But still. The idea here and out of a chrome. That I'm yeah, not too mad about. I actually do love that. Oh yeah, this is in action earlier with our big sticky stick here. There we go, my stick. But yeah, overall, nice bit of kit. Love to reskin on this. So yeah, that is Chrome Big Lift 3500 by Dashu Agar. Next. Finally, we're on to our final mod of the day. We've got the John Deere 445 and Utilities. This is by Solutions Modding. 21.82 megabytes of download. So, essentially, this is a small John Deere 445 tractor with options for three point linkages, grass cut hitches, and that. Got pallet forks, and that. Got a front loader, and that. Also, got a weight on another configuration, got at the shop, and that. But yeah, so yeah, got your front loaders like so. Just dump grass wherever you wish. And then yeah, go to that. Raise and lower your pallet forks and that. So, for example, we've got some pallets here that has been accidentally partially sold. But yeah, just go lift your pallets up. Doesn't lift it up that high, it just gets it off the ground so you can move it. So, move it to a cell point, move it to a store area, do whatever you wish. So, there we go. Yeah, I can lift two packs at the same time. 
And then, yep, next we've got the plow and a blade. So the blade is for like snow plow. Well, I do want to kind of like level on that or move stuff. Nope. And it only does snow plowing, fair enough. No harm in checking, so drop the plow. And there we go, we're plowing the fields. Don't fancy that? Let's do some mowing instead, so... Moving on over to our grass field here, so... Yeah, just get this position in the line, so... You want to lower mower. Turn on said mower. And turn on the loading wagon. Otherwise, you're just going to dump everything onto the ground. So yeah, this is a mower with a big bag in that. Well, essentially that's a four dragon that. It is a bit loud in that, I will admit, but it's all not too bad. Love to turn the circle that. There we go, like so. And let's go back up here. But yeah. Handy little bit of kit this is. And yeah, then yeah, we'll go and to the store in a sec and look at the configurations. But let's go and we yeah, turn off the mower. And yeah, unload. Ah, that's better my ears, Christ. Yeah, it does. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird thing that happens when you're unloading, but overall it sorts itself out. Then at store we've got a weight set here, so you've got a three point leakage weight and a normal weight, so yep. All this can be found under stores and that. So first of all the actual tractor itself, so the 445, 5 grand, 23 horsepower, 12 miles an hour work speed, weighs 660 kilograms. So configuration, so you've got standard, 60 kilograms front weight or none. Wheels, so you got your standard, tires with claws, white tires, original tires, original tires with claws, white tires, original, back to standard. Attacher, you got your three point linkage at the rear, a lawnmower and bagger hitch, or back to standard cutters. It's got like a very shades of John Deere green, like so, along with a black, not black there, rim colours, so you could do black, yellows or greens, depending on what you wish. So next here, let's get my notes up here, so the pallet fork itself is under tools and miscellaneous, so there we go, 450. Same colour palette in that, as always. Then you got your blades, that, that does your snow ploughing in that. 1.8 metre working width, and yeah, so looking at that slot counts. That is also two slots. Then go to your weights. That is one slot, so that is right at the end over here. Yeah, only 180 kilograms, so that means you can lift this up if you wish. Then yeah, you got your front loaders and that, so is it front loaders or front loader tools? Nope. Front loader tools. There we go, go to the end of all of this. So yeah, two and a half grand. Yeah, again, not too bad, you can lift this up if you wish. Normal colour palette there, as you've seen many times before. And then, yeah, just looking at, oh yeah, the plough and that, so subsoiler and that. So, subsoiler, subsoilers. There we go. And yeah, we're heading to the end. So, yeah, plough 445. And once again, kind of pallets and that. But yeah, like, sort counts is, yeah, really the most expensive ones is the mowers and that. So, the mowers themselves, so... That is under tools and mowers, first of all. So, go to near the end. Got your mower over here. 
and your bagger can be found under forge wagons. And then you go Viking bagger there. Also, you do have like capacities of 350 liters, which is your normal, or four and a half thousand liter dummy capacity. Oh, you got love that. Can't remember which one I went for. I think dummy capacity, you know me and that. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so crack and set moss we've had today. So you've got your very John Deere's here. Extreme Versa can do so many things. So yeah, all we can do is just raise and lower the weight. Yeah, I'm done with you. Oh, yeah, I am done with one moss today, so. Oh god, this is like getting out. I've got it is still half past eight. This is what time I'm finishing up here. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is get this uploaded as quick as possible after a lot of editing. Also, I'm going to try to get the map tour done tonight before I go to bed, if not first thing in the morning. Because I'm absolutely exhausted at the moment. And then, yeah, upload the preferring countryside at some point that I'm going to do this play. Most likely now it's going to be tomorrow and that. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed this mod review. If so, Special button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider. But for a juice to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, see you from Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.